When I was a kid, I was very uh, interested in this kind of uh, media, like television. I really love television. I really love comic books. I really love um, all those kind of uh, uh, mediated stuff. Um, so, uh, and uh, since I started uh, making artwork, I start to actually break this kind of media, I think. It's kind of my revenge of, of this kind of my childhood. Mm -hmm. This piece is about um, uh, about my kind of impression about this kind of Western city, Western kind of town, not downtown or something. So I take uh, a lot of kind of pictures and then uh, lower the resolution and blow up uh, in a printer. Uh, so it is pixelated naturally and um, I slice them uh, through the, uh, the, uh, the pixel lines and then I rebuilt it. The Spider-Man piece is almost same, not same, but in a similar kind of process, I think. Uh, like a, I cut out every uh, single figures and images and frames of the uh, comic books, uh, Spider-Man comic books, and then I rebuilt it in a way, uh, Spider-Man sh uh, sh shape. It's, especially this work is very um, kind of digital kind of work, but my attitude is actually anti-technology uh, tech because uh, the thing is like to break this kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, digital uh, media and digital technology, we should go way back. So like this, uh, like a pixelation is actually low tech. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of opposite way of uh, technology. Especially technolo technology always develop their way to make illusion stronger, make more fake, make fake thing more realistic. That is the goal of this uh, digital technology. So I try to you know, go way uh, back uh, against that kind of way. You enjoy technology and you enjoy computers, but you're trying to make art that is not that is not fluid that's trying to yeah. reassert how art does not have to be dependent on computers so is your process showing us what is it showing us protest is it showing us trying to take art back to being a, a craftsman like project or practice what uh, sum it up for us like a i don't think i had to be one or the other side like breaking it or follow it i just i don't know uh, where uh, you know which one do i like but I think I, need, I just need to um, uh, like play with it. And the uh, decision making is up to you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the, the important term is, I think, illusion. We are surrounded with uh, illusions and we believe it as a truth and uh, believe it as a kind of a nature. So I, I like to uh, break down this uh, kind of our belief and um, um, like breaking these illusions, especially uh, came out from uh, all those kind of medias like televisions and magazines and books and uh, everything, um, so that I can just provide the, the chance uh, for people to think about it again. I'm not sure if they want to believe it or not, but just uh, uh, give it a chance. For me, the same. I mean, I try to want to um, uh, want to see what's going to happen if I break down this kind of a strong kind of medias and uh, illusions. Let's think about this kind of Spider-Man culture. All those kind of uh, characters and uh, the uh, heroes in, uh, from uh, comic books uh, make us think, believe there's somebody like that. Or, you know, I wish I wanted to be that kind of person or something like that. I think that is kind of illusion, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, the illusion in my speaking is not only the visual illusion, but also cultural illusion and social illusion and everything, I think.